the last 10 years the congress party destroyed all these the systems not only whole of india vp state also they have destroyed they have destroyed the systems involved in uh, rampant corruption misappropriations and uh, nepotism so on and so forth so they we have inherited so many issues and problems from the congress previous congress government the destroyed systems the collapsed uh, systems the corrupt systems we have inherited from congress government now other biggest problem is bifurcation of the state we got the body without head and we don't have proper resources deficit budget and at the same time we are uh, waiving farmer loans as per our poll promise to the extent of 45000 crores so these are the current problems we are facing with as part of the legacy that is passed on to telugu desam party government from congress party they have destroyed the systems of hostling also i want to drive the point home saying that as part of the destruction of the systems polluting of the systems corrupting the systems the systems of hostels also got you know this right characterized by rampant corruption substandard uh, things not so good uh, nutritious food and delay in supplying of uh, clothes delay in supply of books and lack of upkeep of the environment the hostels so on and so forth now it is our duty to take take you know corrective measures it is our duty to root out all these kinds of evils uh, i have been touring uh, various places in the state and i have been conducting surprise checks i have been conducting periodical reviews uh, i am getting to know all the kinds of problems that are faced by our students especially in the hostels the policy decision what we have taken is we wanted to convert all these hostels into residential schools over a period of 3 years in a phased manner we wanted to do away with this hostel business it not that we are not able to rectify the things but there is lot of demand for residential schools there is not only from the public from the public representatives also lot of demand from residential schools why because residence the concept of residential schools which was introduced by telugu desam party during mr n d ramaro's time it has proved to be successful and the results are excellent if you take the average pass of uh, 10th class stands at 88% but whereas in residential schools it is 92.4% and there are students who are scoring highest marks there are students who have scaled everest mountain and there are students going for iit and passing gre tofel sat so since the residential schools are successfully running successfully in uh, giving producing results good result since there is a heavy demand we wanted to convert all these hostels into residential schools over a period of 3 years in a phased manner that's number one number two during this 3 years we will not leave the hostels like that we will definitely plug the loop loopholes i find there is uh, some gap in supply chain mechanism the goods are supplied by the civil supplies department to the hostels and certain things are supplied by uh, girjan cooperative society tricar <coughs> and this, certain things which the government agencies are not able to supply the wardens are purchasing in an open market through small tender kind of thing but then the whole system there is a gap in supply up from the originating point to the end delivery point there is some leakage we wanted to arrest i wanted to arrest this and the most one of the most uh, you know frequently heard complaint is that the wardens are not staying in the hostels the hostels where it is located the places where the hostels are located so i wanted to check this uh, a lacuna and then see that the wardens should be should stay at the place of work 
and the upkeep of the hostels also not so very good so i have instructed all my officers to spend some money earmark some money for the upkeep of the hostels so that they are already on the job they are carrying out the job so we wanted to bring up a lot of reforms to improve the working conditions i mean living conditions and working conditions on the educational standards to our best so the best, you know, best possible level we want to develop their skills we want to give them you know training through skill development centers so we are exploring we are contemplating so many innovative things